Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play series for Civilization VI. We are in the New Frontier Pass, and the October 2020 uh, patch just came out uh, today, actually, uh, at the time that I'm recording this. And uh, along with that came, you know, a few changes to the, probably the base game. But primarily what we're going to look at today is the new scenario, uh, Pirates. Uh, I believe this is somewhat inspired by Sid Meier's Pirates from, from years back. Uh, but obviously in a civilization, civilization world. Um, this is technically a multiplayer scenario, uh, so I, my understanding is it probably is a little bit better played with, you know, up to four people, but uh, we're going to try playing it single player anyway, uh, obviously on deity difficulty, see if that works, see how it goes. Um, it may be a short run through. I think it's only like a 60 turn scenario anyway, so we'll see how long it takes. Uh, but yeah, I figured we'd try it out because it looks like a lot of fun. And uh, let's get into the game here. Um, so I think we have to go through to multiplayer. I, I looked for it in single player. I didn't see it there. Uh, you do see here is the Red Death that they re uh, released, mm, what, three, four months ago? I can't remember exactly which pack that was. Uh, and then here's the Pirates one. We could click this button. That would jump us right into a multiplayer game, I believe. Uh, but we're going to set up a probably like a hot seat or something like that here in just a moment. Before we get into that, though, let's check out what Pirates is about. Pirates is a fast-paced 60-turn scenario about the age of piracy for one to four players. The goal is to accrue the most infamy by the term limit, turn limit. And the game can be played on a historical Caribbean or the randomly generated pirate islands. Pirates uh, have no need for cities. You start with a seaworthy flagship and steal additional ships over time. Sounds like fun. Uh, the bigger the fleet, the bigger the plunder. Use crew to capture damaged enemy ships and add them to your burgeoning pirate empire. Crew can also be used to deploy shore parties to search for and bury hidden treasure. You recruit crew by using the visit tavern unit action while your ship is adjacent to a port's city center. Taverns also provide a fresh treasure map every time you visit. Well, there you go. Beware. Your pirate cohorts demand profit and adventure. You lose gold per turn for every ship in your fleet. Your ships will mutiny if the gold coffers run dry for too long. Makes sense. Treasure is the keystone of a pirate's life. Treasure chests can be found floating at sea or buried on land. You can convert your gold into infamy by burying treasure. Treasure chests contain gold and pirate relics. Hide your treasure well as other pirates aim to steal your gold and infamy. Um, pirate relics are powerful artifacts that possess special gameplay effects and bonuses. Relics can sometimes be found in treasure chests, treasure ships, and during tra tavern visits. You may equip three relics at a time and change them at any time. Treasure fleets will occasionally set sail for Europe. Treasure fleets travel with a bounty of gold and relics but are well guarded. Infamous pirates from, from history also sail the unfriendly seas. You can sink them to boost your own infamy. Infamy is scored by three categories. Treasure... Infamous pirate and fighting with a <laughs> apostrophe treasure. So you get some from burying a treasure chest, uh, sinking a treasure ship, plundering a tr plundering a treasure chest, plundering a building or district, plundering a trade route, or plundering plundering improvement in that order. Uh, infamous pirate, you get fifteen for sacking a port, twenty to fifty for sinking an infamous pirate. But I guess that's based on the difficulty of the pirate itself, and plus five for clearing a buccaneer fort. Uh, fighting plus 10 if you sink or capture another pirate player's ship. Okay. Uh, plus 5 for sinking or capturing a colonial ship. Plus 5 for sinking or capturing a buccaneer ship. Or plus 1 for surviving a combat. Sounds good. Play pirates. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to go host information. I want to go back and do my own thing because I don't want to play multiplayer. I'm assuming that's how you get to multiplayer. What? I actually don't know. We'll do it this way. I'm pretty sure this will work. Uh, so we'll jump into the Pirates rule set, um, and we will jump on to... We're going to do the Caribbean Islands, just why not? If we, if we enjoy it enough, we might do another playthrough on the Pirate Islands. Excuse me, man. Yawning a lot today. Uh, this is not even a football manager game. I usually yawn during the football manager games. Um, I don't think anything else here changes. I don't know if the game random seeds or map random seeds make any difference on this playthrough. Uh, but if so, and you like what the map looks like or whatever, then there you go. There's your random seeds if you want to play with those along with me um well not literally along with me but on the same map uh we'll confirm those settings 
So then we have four pirate players, and we have Spain, England, Netherlands, and France. Well, first things first, let's set everybody to deity. Although I don't know that setting ourselves to deity makes any difference whatsoever. But we'll set everybody else to deity and try this out. And then we got to pick our player. We may just do random, but we'll see. Dread Pirate. Fighting is what we do best. Plus 10 gold every time a unit engages in combat. Not necessarily wins, but engages in combat. Uh, walk the plank. Every naval ship has the walk the plank unit action. Okay. Walk the plank can be used on any badly damaged enemy ship to sink the ship in exchange for extra movement and combat strength for five turns. That actually sounds pretty good. The walk the plank ability takes five turns to recharge. So every five turns, as long as you've done combat, you or uh, you know you have a damaged ship, whatever, you can walk the plank and get it recharged. So in theory, you could keep this up the entire time. Although I'm assuming in practice that would be a little harder to do. Uh, hoarder, mine, mine, mine. Unit maintenance cost is reduced by three. Don't know what that means, but sounds I like a lot. Plus ten treasure points for burying treasure. The hoarder gets three percent interest on their gold reserves per turn. Okay, so holding onto a whole lot of gold, hoarding, would give you more gold. Uh, as a free action, all naval units can use the chain shot ability to lock a unit into place for one turn. Chain shot takes five turns to recharge, so another five turn thingy. Privateer, letter of, uh, is it Marquis? Is that how you say that? Or Mark, letter of Mark. Privateer has a randomly assigned colonial power as a patron. Ah, the privateer knows the location of all of their patron's ports. Pillaging trade routes grants an additional one holder gold. That sounds like a lot. Every naval ship has the Bring Her Home unit action. Bring Her Home can be used on badly damaged enemy ships to capture the ship for the privateer's patron. Using the Bring Her Home grants plus five infamous pirate uh, points and plus 100 gold in addition to the usual naval victory rewards. Five turns to recharge. And finally, Swashbuckler. Excuse me, man. The Swashbuckler gains plus one infamous pirate's points for every 50 hexes revealed on the map. So exploration is going to be key there. All naval units can track or can tack into the wind to double their movement for a turn. The tack into the wind ability takes six turns to recharge. So that's the only one that's on a six turn timer. Interesting. Honestly, I think we're just going to do random. See what happens. Let's go. Order. Come on, Sean Bean. Where's, where's Sean Bean? He's not going to tell us about this amazing... You know, okay. Your father's trades were banking, and ye are a banker... I can't do it. Pirate voice. And ye are a banker of sorts. Your hold be the vault into which bullion goes, and to others be ripe for a withdrawal. The devil and Jack catch. Both might be persuaded to give ye a few years yet. Ah, I didn't get to finish reading. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, start the turn. I hope I did that right. I mean, is the... I just did hot seat because I assumed that it would just auto-do all these. We'll find out. Um, mutant imminent in 91 turns. Well, since the game's going to be over in 60 turns at the moment, I'm not worried about the gold thing. We do make more gold per interest. Um... 5.3 from interest on treasury. Okay, that works. Uh, and so what was the other thing that we have? Uh, as a free action... Okay, we can use the chain shot then where we can kind of keep somebody in place. That's going to be fun. And the chain shot is right there. Okay. So we have a ship out here in the middle of the water. Uh, we do know about Santa Catalina over here. And there's something yellow there. And that is all we know about at the moment. We are in the... Presuming that this is somewhat centered properly kind of in the lower you know almost left side but kind of maybe closer to the middle of the map we are a three-star unit at the moment 50 melee strength 51 range strength um i guess the melee is that we, we get attacked and range is we're probably doing range yeah we're doing range attacks plus two so this is like a I don't know, it's a cool looking ship got our pirate flags all right let's get going um, I'm going to head over towards this yellow thing. I don't know if that's the right move or not. We'll find out. Probably not going to move all the way over there, though, in the first turn. Take it in a little few strides. Found Blackbeard's treasure map. You have discovered a map to Blackbeard's treasure. Oh, that's what that is. Well, let's go find Blackbeard's treasure. Uh, 
Maybe we shouldn't have done... Oh, we have a turn timer. You know what? Can I change those in settings? La, 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 la. Options. We don't want a turn timer. Don't know if there's a way to change that. Time at timer. Okay, no turn timer. Um, because obviously I'm playing by myself. I don't need a turn timer. All right, let's go with that. See if that helps things a little bit better. And again, maybe playing hot seat was not the right way to do this, but we're gonna go with it this time and see how it goes. I mean, it's still it's gonna function. It's just we may have to get that little screen every once in a while or every every turn. Which, eh, oh well. Um. Yeah, I guess we'll head over this way. Uh, again, I'm not going to go all the way over in one turn. Okay, so that just tells you it's in the general area, and then as you get closer, you actually see where it's at. Makes sense. Infamous infamous pirate pirate spotted. Oh, way over there. I, I would imagine we're too weak to do anything with that. Yeah, okay, so the hot seat thing is probably not what I wanted to do. How do I pick this up? Alert, sleep, skip turn, move two. Plunder. Oh, not a movement point slot. Okay, so we have to sit here for a turn. Okay, so we plunder. Is that how we pick it up? Treasure located. Decoration of war. Okay, England and Netherlands. Okay, so cursed lucky pieces of eight, plus three gold per unit maintenance. Oh, sorry, plus three gold. Plus three gold per unit maintenance. Higher chance of gold. Are we getting more interest? There's a higher chance of mutiny, but apparently, uh, presumably, we're getting more maintenance or more, more interest now. That's that's actually an interesting way to double up on our stuff. So if we move, plug that in. <laughs> wow. I mean, I feel like 12 turns, 12 gold to return feels like a lot of money. Uh, okay. Uh, do we want to go over here and do anything with Catalina? I mean, what would be... Could we... I mean, they're at 45 strength and we're at 51. I would assume that means that we could take them on. I want to head that direction. And I'm actually going to go ahead and save the game real quick. And I'm going to see if I can change... I don't know. Can you change the settings to a different type of, of game? I'll be right back. We're going to, we're going to do a quick save. And I'm going to see if I can change it from hot mode, hot seat to something else. So I'll be right back. All right. I could not figure out how to change anything uh, to, you know, get out of the hot seat or anything like that. I couldn't load this game into any of the other modes. Um, I actually tried loading up the game on a regular kind of just network or internet game, but just playing, you know, obviously by myself, but with the, uh, the map seeds and stuff like that. And that did not put us in the same spot. So we'll go ahead and start with this. We'll just deal with the, uh, the pop up every turn. Um, Thankfully, it's only going to be 60 of them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and, we'll go ahead and keep going this way it is. Alrighty. Um, infamous Pirate Spot. So we still know about this Infamous Pirate, I'm assuming, unless it's a different one. Nope, it's the same one. Um, I guess, like I said, I think we're just going to go ahead and presumably run over here to attack Santa Cantalina. Or we can, we can do a shore party. We have one crew. That's it. There's a trade route over there. We could visit the tavern. Uh, which we might actually just do that. Why, why be mad at Santa Catalina? Are we... Do we even know if we're at war with them right now? I don't know if we know that. Plunder. Alright, well, let's just try visiting the tavern. Plus one additional attack for all units. All units can move after attacking. That feels pretty good. I mean, it feels pretty good to get a bunch of these relics set up right away. Uh, I don't... I feel like Shore Party with one crew would be kind of silly with a probably a five-population city. So, do we want to attack? Do we want to move over here and plunder this? Oh, found another treasure map. That's pretty cool. So, we may want to go after that here in a moment. Do we have movement still? We do still have movement. I wonder if we could chase down this trade route. I wonder how fast they go. Oh, I don't, can't move. Okay, let's let's stay there. And we'll come back to that. Okay, so they did attack us. Oh, the trade routes actually don't go very fast. Let's sneak over here and try to get this trade route. And then we may go after that, um... That, uh... Treasure up there. 
treasure fleet. I would assume, for one, it's way over on the other side of the map. It's got a good direct beeline right up the side of this map towards uh, towards Europe. So I don't think that's going to be helpful. Spain has declared war on Netherlands. Netherlands has declared war on France. We found another city over here. All right, let's go and see if we can pillage or plunder this. Get this plus one treasure. Okay. Like we need some more ships, right? I mean, I feel like just one ship. We're going to breeze through 52 turns pretty quickly. All right, let's head up this way. Go towards that treasure. Let's see what we can find. What is that? So we got... Okay, so that's the treasure fleet we already knew about. We already know about that. New Buccaneer Fort. Hmm. Wonder if we should go over there and take care of that thing while we're here. I mean, I feel like we're going to be wanting to do treasure stuff. I mean, that's our that's our kind of our motif is treasure. Get as much gold as we can, so we're making as much gold as we can. I mean, we're in second place, tied for second at the moment. Our gold is definitely much higher than everybody else's. It's a long ways up there, to be fair. This game might actually go by pretty quickly. Maybe I should have been attacking stuff along the way. I mean, we're making tons of money. That's 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 for sure. What's this based off? I think it's based off every little bit of money that we make. Um, can we get there and pillage you right now? Nope, not yet. We'll have to do it to next turn. Negotiated peace. Oh, it's a different treasure fleet. Okay, so there's actually two treasure fleets going right now. I mean, that's still a long ways away from us, and we're not <laughs> with one ship. I would imagine we're not very strong. All right, let's go ahead and pillage this thing real quick while we're here. Or plunder, I should say. It's a little bit of treasure. Some gold. Even more trade routes. Wow, lots of trade routes. I don't know if we want to keep plundering these or go after this thing first. Let's go after this thing first just because we, we know we can catch up with those things. And who knows, maybe this will give us something that makes plundering trade routes even better. I, I honestly don't know what kind of things they have. Got us a bunch of gold. Which we have a lot of. Oh. Did one of the pirates already get defeated? What? Well, that was vast. Okay, we knew about that one. Oh, there actually are t several infamous pirates. Uh, I guess two of them at the moment. Uh, did we not get... Well, I guess we only got money for that one. We didn't get another relic. Alright, well, let's head back down here. Let's see if we can p plunder a couple of these things. Some buccaneers over there. I mean, for the moment, we're in the lead. There's a lot of game left to go. I assume at some point we want to bury some of our treasure to get some infamy. But the more we can hold on to for the longest, the better. Because we're just making absolute bank right now. With this interest. Especially the double interest. Uh, let's go there. Do we want to go all the way out? Let's see. If the city's right... Let's go right there for a second. I don't know which one the city's at, and I don't want to get fired upon for no reason. Okay, this city is right there. Um, I mean, we'll plunder this trade route. Might as well keep that up as much as we can. I mean, it's getting us some good money. Another new treasure fleet. Ooh. One of those... Bad pirate dudes has been plundered. I mean, these guys have a lot more fighting stuff than what I do at the moment. Okay, we did just get attacked. It's going to help us with a little bit of fighting, I suppose. Oh, this is uh, this looks like a much bigger city. Well, before we attack it, I might actually attack this one. 
Let's visit the tavern. So that gave us... Oh, that's a long ways away. We may, we may ignore that one. I mean, can we do any damage to this thing? Don't know if this is a good idea or not. I mean, it feels like we're doing taking a lot of damage, actually. We have three crew. Like, what is... What do we need to do anything? Oh, that's actually going to put a crew, like, right there. Okay, that makes sense. This tavern can be visited. This city is ripe for harvest. Harvest. I mean, maybe we should just come up here and visit the tavern and just be treasure hunters. Could get some uh, health from plundering. I mean, I'll keep attacking for right now. Oh, I got a promotion. Oh, nice. Can move after attacking. Plus one movement. Obtain gold from naval victories. This leads to plus 50 gold from coastal raids. This gives us more sight. More combat. I don't know. Let's move after attacking. Sounds like fun. I mean, are we actually doing damage to this thing? Like, significant damage, I should say. I mean, we are doing damage, but I don't know if we're doing enough to make it, like, worth our while sitting here doing this. <laughs> Although, the longer we sit here, the more money we're making. Oh, can I attack twice? That works. I'm tempted to go up there and just check that uh, place out. Now, oh, there's a ship, a sloop. What's it over there? Feels like we would do more damage against a ship than we would uh, not a little bit. Careening, rapid heal. I don't think we need that right this second. Let's just attack the ship. I mean, this feels good. Capture boat. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, there we go. Now we have two ships. Well, that's going to help things a bit. Another new treasure fleet. I mean, the bigger our fleet, the better. Now, it is going to cost us a little bit over here, but I think we're okay. So this is going to be a melee ship, of course, since it's, uh, guessing it's based off a of caravel. Oh, no. Never mind. It says, still says a range attack. It's just a range of one. It's a short range ship. Uh, I mean, this guy needs a little bit of uh, repairs, though, right? So if we move here and do some careening. Okay, that's back to full health. Let's move this guy up to... Uh, we're not going to go all the way to Florida Keys, I don't think. There's a trade route. There's a buccaneer. There's a pillaged. Let's go get this trader real quick. There's another Buccaneer place, which actually looks like we could probably go do some damage to pretty easily. Um, you can come over here probably and wait for this trader out, I would imagine. I actually have some good movement. Okay, we did take some damage there. Um, do we now shore party to there? Get us some money. Oh, wow. It's another pirate thing went out. I didn't even notice. I'm assuming this guy's going to come right to us. So I'm just going to sit right here waiting for him. So we're at 55 strength. We can bury treasure. Bury 600 gold to gain 30 treasure points. Well, that's a lot of treasure points. Can we just get back on... How are you not adjacent to the naval ship? And I guess I get rid of two crew, huh? Okay. 
Let's just sit here for a second. Maybe we can get back on next turn. Ooh, what are you? Buccaneer Brigantine. I mean, obviously, I'm assuming this guy. Yeah, this guy's going to be able to take that guy out. Oh, maybe not. Let's kill off one of these guys or attack the ship back here, maybe. That actually feels like a better move. Promotion available. Combat strength versus naval units feels relevant. Actually, I've chain shot it. I mean, this guy's got two range, too, so there's really... I mean, the only reason I would do this is if I want to keep him there. Why not? We haven't used it yet. All right, you're going to pill plunder this trader out. I mean, feels like we're in the lead. That's very low on health. Uh, so we'll get back on the ship. There we go. Can attack this dude. Assuming we can attack him twice. Sink him. Get to some XP. Some fighting. I mean, I feel like we're doing pretty good, but I mean, maybe it's just maybe that's the whole point. This is definitely not. Maybe it's not made for a single player. Oh, hello, France Brigantine, Spain Sloop. Brigantine feels a little tough. Might want to avoid that with our sloop. Um, feel like you want to. Probably move up a little bit and do some careening. Ooh, got a little bit of health back, not much. We've got a decent amount of health, to be fair. Alright, well we're at turn 30. And I at least want to make this somewhat even episodes. So we're going to go ahead and put a cut in there. I know it's a little bit early. I usually go about 30 minutes, but I kind of want to... If I go three more minutes, then we're going to be partial episode on the next one. So we'll go ahead and stop here. And uh, I don't know. I mean, it's interesting so far. I mean, it's going pretty fast. I mean, sometimes I wish games like this, like these, these scenarios were like 200 turns or something like that to give me a lot more time to kind of play around and have some fun. We're barely going to have any of this stuff explored in 60 turns. Although the more of these ships we get, the more we can explore, things like that. If we can come down here and capture one of these, that's going to expand our fleet even more. So there's some options here, but I don't know. We'll see. So we're going to put a cut in there. Uh, when we come back, we'll either finish this up or get a little bit further into this and see how things go. But yeah, I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye.